Hey guys, Cade Wilcox here uh, with Primitive. Thanks so much for tuning into this week's video. A while back, and you can find this on our YouTube channel or go to our, our, our website, but I talked about the importance of culture and I talked about what we call the four Ds of culture, defining, documenting, discussing, and demonstrating your culture. And so you can go check out that video. But in this video, I wanted to follow up with you because we've had some really cool experiences. Uh, recently, we've been hiring a, a couple of new positions at our company. And the way that our hiring process works is uh, our chief of staff, Annie, who's responsible for our culture and caring for our people, she has an initial meeting and kind of gets to know the person to kind of get a vibe for would they be a good fit for our culture and would our culture be a good fit for them. If she feels really good about that, then they move to a second interview, usually with whoever is the director of whatever department we're hiring in. So if it's the digital team or if it's the product team or the web team or software, whatever, Annie will then meet with that applicant and, and the leader of that department. And then oftentimes the, the third interview is with me. So if, if the director and Heather feel really good about a person, both from a culture standpoint and a competency standpoint, and then, then I'm the third interview and I get to know them and tell them the primitive story and I ask them questions and they ask me questions. And so recently we went through that process and I had three interviews with three different prospects that our team felt really good about. And, and this was the, 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 the coolest thing I've, I've experienced in a long time from a, a hiring standpoint. And that is, uh, when I got done asking all my questions to the prospect, I always say, do you have any questions for me? Is there anything I can shed light on relative to our culture or our history or where we're going or whatever? And all three people, the very first thing out of their mouth was, it's not really a question, but I want to tell you how amazing I think y'all's culture is. And then they went into really specific, uh, you know, specific tangible things about our culture that they had picked up on and they had learned about just through the two previous um, interviews they had. And the reason I share this with you is because sometimes culture can be a buzzword. Sometimes it can be you know, a pretty you know, uh, a slideshow deck or, or just something people talk about, but it kind of stops there. And in this case, what was so powerful for me as a CEO is that here I was, I was the first time I'd ever met these people. They had only interacted with our company on two different occasions and through some emails. And they, in those interactions with Annie and some of the rest of our team, were able to pick up on how critical our culture is to us. And not just that it was important, but they understood the value of it and they felt connected to it. And it was a huge part of their desire to want to work for our company. The reason I share these things with you is not to toot our own horn, but is to remind you as a leader of your organization that culture should not be a secondary thing. It should be a, it should be a priority of yours, and it, it not just impacts the team that you have and in caring for them well and caring for the whole person, but it also helps you recruit and hire the very best talent out there because you're different. It's, a diff it, 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 it's something that you can use as a real differentiator and not just something that you kind of talk about. It's kind of a token, a, a token thing that you kind of throw in there in the interview, but it's something that's so ingrained in you. It's something that's so critical to you that it, that it comes out even when you're interviewing and recruiting new talent. So I hope uh, this is a, a helpful reminder to you to take culture serious. Um, that certainly it can be a buzzword to some people, but when an organization takes it seriously and you go through some of the things I've shared in our past videos, it really can begin to make a huge difference on your business. Mm -hmm.